whole life wondering when it's going to come or where it's been. When, when it was known that he wanted to pursue a relationship with me, um, you know, I was skeptical getting into a relationship at that time because I had just got over a relationship and I was like, you know, I'm not dealing with nobody because even back then I was like, these guys is all about using people, you know, to their advantage. Like they don't want to be committed. Back in those days, if I dealt with somebody, that's who I dealt with. I dealt with them and only them. I was the, the, the good, faithful girlfriend, you know. So he kind of just came out of nowhere. <laughs> and when he came, I just, I fell. I, I, I literally just dove in the situation. And um, the fact that he pursued me, you know, was like, wow. And the fact that I met his family, you know, I always will meet the guy's family I deal with, but, you know, I met his family, he met my family, he met my dad, you know, we did family dinners together, we did everything together, and I was like, oh, this guy is, you know, what's, what's up? I really didn't care about what he can provide for me at that time, you know, he had goals, he had dreams, he had aspirations to be a singer. So me, being me, I'm going to support him in whatever he has that he wants to do. So, you know, I was the support. I was behind him to a hundred percent. I'm, you know, back and forth, back and forth, we were right each other. And the letters that he was sending would be so sweet. He do little drawings of butterflies, and I love butterflies. He used to do little drawings of butterflies, like on the envelope that he would send his letter in, and you know, so little stuff like that really was like, oh my gosh, like yes, I found the love of my life. Oh, let's see. I got married when I was 22 years old. Do I regret it? No. Because at the time, that's who I was in love with, and that's who I decided I wanted to spend the rest of my life with. Um, you know, when people get married, they, they don't think about divorce. You know, divorce was never, it never crossed my mind. I never thought that I would have to go through a divorce, deal with a divorce. I personally didn't even know you know, the steps and the procedures besides finding a lawyer to do my divorce, but, um, you know, you, you do things in life, and at that time, I did it because that's, that's who I was That didn't bother me. Um, I was 22 when I got married, so, um, just because, I mean, some marriages do work out, you know, a lot of people have gotten married at young ages, some younger than 20, 22, so, and they have worked, so. And I decided, um, you know, it's time to just go ahead and marry this guy, like, he was like the perfect guy at the time. Um, would I do it any different? No. I, I, I probably still would have married the person I married. I probably still would have married him at the age I was at. Um, I don't regret it. Um, you know, if you read the book, I talk a lot about marriage and love and finally finding that one to love me for me who didn't use me for sex, you know, didn't use me for my money or anything, you know, he loved me for me. Things I just respect him for at that time stepping up and and being a man and making me his wife. You know, people say whatever they want to say and people hate and they don't understand our relationship now because we're we're good friends. Again, she'll know, you know, what the 
to look for and what twists the facts and hopefully the second time around would be better than the first. Uh, you know, when we got divorced, like a lot of people couldn't believe it. You know, they thought that we would be separated and eventually, are they gonna work it out? They gonna get back together because they always do and they can't live without each other. And it's like, in the, in the back of my, the back of my mind and like really, really, really deep down in my heart, that's what I always say. Oh, we just gonna be separated for like a year and then we're gonna get back together. But people on the outside and they'll never understand. You know, especially the females that either dealt with him or or wanted to deal with him or still hope to deal with him. You know what I'm saying? It's like, sweetie, I'm gonna need y'all to get over it because, you know, I'm here and I'm going to be here as long as I'm breathing. And as long as he's breathing, there's no reason why we can't be friends. We was friends before we got married. We was friends before we were in a relationship. We're from the same hood, you know? So we both understand the struggle um, about following your dreams. So yeah, I support him in what he still does. And he supports me in what I do. And sometimes he try to give me some pointers on how to go about networking and promoting myself. So I just respect him as being a real true friend. I mean, you can X out the relationship and you can X out the marriage, but we'll always be friends and always be supportive. There's was there were days I just couldn't get out of the bed, like cause my my head and my mind was just gone. Like I, I can't believe it. I gotta live this life without him, you know. And all the sacrifices I made and we made to to be together, you know, all the struggles we went through. And I said, damn, I really gotta live this life without him. How am I supposed to do this? Oh God, I can't. I can't do this. I'm about to be alone, you know. And I had to do it, but you know, there was there was times that I really, I really contemplated not being not being here like i was really ready to go take a bottle you know i don't even take aspirin first of all i'm not even supposed to so if i was to take a uh a whatever motrin 800 two of those would probably do me good i would be done you know so suicide i definitely was 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 going through <laughs> going through this head of mine plenty of nights and don't nobody know what it's like to really lose somebody that you love. To That's what it felt like. I said it felt like a part of me was dead, you know. So I had to. I had to get over that and if you read the book I'll, I'll tell you you know how I got over it and it was only the grace of God because yeah I have friends and I have my family but I did not even want them around me I get so bad for some people that they just can't continue and they feel like they don't have no reason to continue so that's one reason why I wrote this book because I want everybody to enjoy life and know that life is what you make it and there's no reason why you should feel like life is hard. Sometimes it can be hard, but God will never put more on you than you can actually bear. And I'm a witness to that.